and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with another lamp for Baby Got Scraps, a scrappy inspiration hop that we do in January to try and use up some of those scraps we've been building up over the year. And I have quite a few scraps um, just from a layout I did two days ago. Uh, from the Bella Boulevard co um, birthday bash collection, including that black um, cardstock. It's not from the collection, but it is a scrap from where I did a layout two days ago, and I cut that the wrong size. I've got two pictures of my daughter from her birthday party or birthday dinner. Uh, this layout right here was from Scrap Lift Crafter Noon on Sunday. Here's the original layout, and I am doing this layout to be a facing, and a lot of the scraps that I have left over are from that layout. So if you're interested in seeing that video, that was posted on Sunday the 7th. And other ladies hopped along and did the same um, scrap lift, which I'm uber excited to go and watch. So I have lots of embellishments, uh, lots of stickers and all the things, um, some puffies. I've got lots of papers and then some in, uh, scraps that I want to get used up. So I've got my papers, my scraps, my embellishments, my pictures. So let's see how this goes. So I'm going to end to this with really no clue what I'm doing. I picked the paper, like that background paper, before I got started, and I knew I wanted to use that black in the middle. I wanted to make a thick border because I really love that paper, and so I, I don't want the black to take it over and just have like this thick, thin, like quarter inch border. I wanted a thicker border, so I think it's like a uh, three quarters of a, an inch. I'm almost positive I cut that black paper to ten and a half by ten and a half. So I, my goal here especially when I do with things with scraps, is I just really wing it because it depends on the scraps I'm pulling from. I'm, I may have more opportunities if I have a lot of bigger scraps. I may have less, you know, stuff to work with. So I specifically decided to kind of do this um, little stripey bit um, going um, across horizontally because I had all these really neat papers that I wanted to use. And they could have gone either direction, but if you look in the top left corner, there's that very thin strip and it has numbers on it. And they are horizontal. And then, and you can kind of see it right now over in the very far right is another bit of that number paper, but it is vertical. And so I wanted to get both of those on there because it is a birthday, it's perfect for this um, layout. And so I decided I'd use some extra little strippy bits and add some layers and put those numbers on the bottom and the side. And then add these other little strips of scrap paper and just build kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a puzzle because everything kind of fits neatly um, in there. And then I'm going to embellish the gaps um, of black. Uh, you're obviously going to be able to still see quite a bit of that black in there because I don't want to take away from that. I love all that color, especially bright, bold color like this Bell Boulevard collection on a black background because it is just, it helps it pop really well off the page. So I'm just going through the embellishments to pick out a bunch of different things that I think are going to work. I want to bring out some purple and some yellow. Uh, the purple because she has a headband on or a, well yeah it's a headband. It looks like a party hat but it's a headband and she's been wearing that every year for her birthday, probably since she was at least five. Um, and I keep it. She has somehow acquired it this year. And I'm going to have to get that back from her because I don't want it to go missing. Um, but I make her wear it every year. I don't care where we are. I don't care how old she is. She will be 75 years old. And I will come out of my nursing home and make her put that thing on. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I wanted to bring in some purple because of that. And then in the bigger picture, it's a group picture of all of us at the table. And uh, she, I gave her a gift bag that's SpongeBob SquarePants. And it's been a part of our birthday tradition, not just her birthday, but and in general in our family because that was one of my dad's favorite <laughs> and so he bought that bag to give one of the kids I'm probably her and it's just kind of hopped around our family <laughs> for many many years so um, I'd be willing to say 15 maybe more than that honestly so I'm just building up a bunch of things and like I said I wanted to bring in some yellow and some purple so I got a lot of that in that top right corner with like a yellow present and a purple party hat I got a balloon up there um have that birthday tag that says birthday girl or that tag that says birthday girl 
Um, and I don't mind covering some of that picture because really she is centered in the middle and her party hat and balloon are centered. So I don't mind covering like all the background tables and people from the restaurant. Um, so I get that all done. I make this cluster down here right above the bigger picture. Um, and then I want to um, add some stars. So I did fussy cut a few stars out of a little remaining piece of scrap paper. Um, I don't like fussy cutting much. I love the concept, but the actual action of it hurts my hands. And so I try not to fussy cut too often, but these stars were great. And it was a small piece of paper that wasn't going to really benefit me in any other way. So I cut like three two partials and a full star out. And I just tuck those in in different places just to add a little something in that black space. And then I'm gonna take these two open areas and journal about our time at Buffalo Wild Wings and celebrating my daughter's birthday um, that we had uh, kind of slow service. It was her first day on the job, so we were understanding. Um, so, so food, but uh, a lot of great laughs and good times. And um, I always love it when my family can get together and almost all of us were there. So that was good. So other than that, that is it. I love the way this turned out. Um, I am trying to do better about journaling. It's not necessarily an official New Year's resolution because I don't normally do those, but it is kind of something I keep trying to remind myself I need to date my layouts and I need to start putting journaling on there. Um, and I appreciate supporters and um, the people who are comment either here or in, um, you know, in text messages and messages on Facebook saying, you know, don't forget to journal. <laughs> So I need to be better about it. So I appreciate them supporting me and encouraging me. So other than that, I love how this turned out. I hope you all are using your scraps up this year. Um, let me know in the comments below how you all are using your scraps. And I hope that you all come back and see me again really soon. I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day. Hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. And happy scrapping.